let us come back and do 2011 paper yes let us see because most of the reactions are given in the first order rate equation only and some other questions which are uh, which come under your Arrhenius equation that right? these two are mostly covered yes let us come back and read the thermal decomposition of formic acid is again first order rate reaction okay with rate constant of 2.4 into 10 raised power of minus 3 seconds done at certain temperature okay done calculate how long will it take for three-fourth of the initial quantity of formic acid to decompose okay hope uh, you would have watched the earlier videos i have done the same question exactly the same question with exactly the same units also everything the data the information the uh, question everything is the same just watch that video <coughs> that is uh, label in the 21 24 yes this is your 21st video where i have done this uh, numerical i think the last part of that particular video please watch this video you will get the information so for solution watch this video video 22 or 21 under chemical kinetics chapter it's the same exactly the same question Let us come back and do 2011 uh, paper. We have uh, two parts in this 2011 paper. Let us read this question. Basically, such questions are quite common in your uh, uh, board paper. Let us read. What did they give us? <coughs> They've given us uh, so that is nitrogen <coughs> like N2O5, right? So, nitrogen pentoxide decomposes according to the equation. Now, this is the equation which is given to us. What do they give us? N2O5 gaseous state. It decomposes into NO2 and O2. Okay. This is the first order reaction, right? <coughs> it was allowed to proceed at 40 degrees and below data was collected. Okay. This is the question given to us. They have collected. What do they do? They have picked up this N2O5 and initial concentration was given to us. And they have also recorded the time. At what time is the concentration? How much is the concentration? Initially, when the time was 0, the concentration of N2O5, M stands for molar concentration. That is small per liter. It was 0 0.400. When the reaction proceeded at 80 uh, minutes, the concentration was so much. Okay, this is the data given. What should they, what do they want us to plot? They want us to find K, right? Rate constant with units. Okay, done. Then uh, they've also given what will be the concentration of N2O5 after 100 minutes. I should also find this. And I have to calculate initial rate also of N2O5. Simple. As soon as such question is given to you, what should you do? Basically, try to plot a graph with a given data yeah when you plot a graph suppose what do, what do i take i'm going to take the concentration in the y-axis and pick up time on the x-axis done now let us see the minimum value here the minimum value is 20 so start here this one from 20 right range it the maximum is 80 so range it till 80 now on the y-axis when i pick up the minimum value is 109 so i've started from 0.1 yeah, 0.1. Then the last, the maximum value was 0.4. So I ended till 0 0.450. So plot the x-axis and y-axis and start plotting. For example, if I take this at 20, now at 20, how much is the value? 0 0.28. Let, let it be rough, but at least mark it uh, approximately. At least uh, because you very well know how to mark, isn't it? For 20, it is 0 0.289. For 20, it is point. This is 0 0.25. There's 26, 27, 28. So, this is a point like that. I've marked for 40, I've marked for 60, I've marked for 80. Then, I've, when I've joined, I've got a graph like this. Yes, done. After that, <clears throat> what should you do take the same tabular column you will be given a log book in the exam yes or no you write the same data now you are going to find out the log value of the initial concentration that means you are going to take your log book and just find out log <coughs> 0 0.400 just 40 and 0 find the log find the log for 289 find the log for 209 151 109 you'll be getting the values like this right directly please apply all the three numbers you'll be getting log values record all the lag log values and keep it why did i do that i'll tell you after draw, noting the log values now you're going to plot a graph between time and log log will be on the y-axis time will be on the x-axis so this is your time scale that now start plotting at 0 0 now what is the minimum thing <coughs> minimum is okay the origin is 0 and it's starting from 20 maximum of 80 
20 and maximum of 80 here in the concentration the minimum was if I observe I think yeah it is 3.39 so I started from 0 0.30 I went till the maximum that is 0 0.96 the maximum 0 0.96 so 0 0.7 0 0.8 0 0.9 yeah till 0.1 I've gone till 0.1 because I have to mark 0 0.96 now start marking for example if I pick up 20 what is the log value which I've got at 20? I've got 0.53. Now this is 4. This is 5. This is your at 20. It is 53. Correct? Like that, I've marked for 20. I've marked for 40. It is not approx. It is just basically an approximation only. I have not marked it to the scale. 40, then 60. Okay, let me mark this down. 60 and this is 80. Okay, this is your 80. So, I have marked for all the points. Then, I have joined all the lines. This is over. Now, what should I find out? I First, I have to find out the slope because <coughs> I very well know <coughs> for the first order rate equation with the, from the integrated rate equation, from the first order integrated rate law, we have already got the slope. Please check that video where I have shown you how to get the slope from the integrated rate equation. From that, I got a slope, negative slope. You will remember that where I have got it as minus k by 2.3. This is the basic slope which I have got for first order. Now, <coughs> you are going to compare between this slope and this slope. Join any two points, not a problem. Suppose if I am picking up this. Yeah, these are all minus values, isn't it? <coughs> minus. So, what do you do? Join these two points. Suppose if I am fixing, taking this 70 and I am going to take this 60. Yes. Now, what happened? Now, when I observe, this, these two are the points for the concentration. And when I drop this down, yeah, if this is, if I should tell you, perfect. It is, if you drop this down, this is 40, isn't it? 20 and 40. So, write down minus 0.7 minus of 0.6, isn't it? Two limits. Mm, below, we have 40 minus 60 limit. So, when I solve this, this becomes minus 0.1 by 20. This is what is your slope. Now, one slope is this from the log value. One slope is this. Now, let us compare these two slopes. I hope you have understood. I picked up two points because straight line on the y axis 2, on the x axis 2 and I have got y by x. Yes, I have dissolved, solved it and I have got this answer. Now, what do you do? You want to take this slope. Yeah, compare it with that. What is this particular thing? Minus point. Uh, 1 by 20 actually is equal to minus k by 2.303 correct so this and this gets cancelled so i can easily find k i can find k how do i find k is equal to 2.303 into 0.1 by 20 i'm almost about to do this k right isn't it now when i solve this i get an answer of 0.01151 Correct. Now, I can still write this 1151 as 1.151 into 10 raised to the minus 3. So, for the first order rate equation, what is the unit? Unit is minute inverse or time inverse. Correct. So, I have done the first one. How much is answer? How much did I get? I got an answer of 1.51 into 10 raised to the minus 3 minute inverse. The first part is over. Now, I have to do the second part. So, for the second part, what should I do? They've asked me to calculate the rate equation <coughs> for the second one. That is, what will be the concentration of N2 of I after 100 minutes? Okay. I have to calculate what is the formula for first order. First order is K is equal to 2.303 by T log of. Now, in this case, it is initial. That is N2O5, isn't it? So, write directly. N2O5, the initial concentration divided by N2O5 and one particular T, one particular type. Now, what should I find out? I have to find out the concentration of N2O5 after 100 minutes. So, after 100 minutes, I am going to write that value of T here. What do I get? <coughs> How much did I get for K already? I have got, how much is the answer which I have got here? It is 1.51 into 10 raised to the minus 3 is equal to 2.303 by how much is the T value they asked us? 100. After 100, I have to find out. After 100, log of how much is N2O5 concentration given to us initially because this is initial concentration. So, write that. It is 0 0.400 divided by, I have to find out N2O5, isn't it? Yes, done. 
now <coughs> take this n2o5 out or pick this whole log out anything not a problem when i take out that n2o5 i get a constant or answer of this is a time t i get an answer of 0.357 molar please calculate it you have to find out n2o5 that is what they've asked now my part b is also over how much did i get i got an answer of 0.357 molar done i have to do the last one calculate the initial rate of n2o5 they said okay let us do let us erase the second part and come back to the third part this is your third part what should i calculate now the initial rate of n2o5 so i have to go back to the rate rate law r is equal to k into n2o5 how much did i get k value i got it as 1.51 into 10 raised to the power minus 3 into what is initial concentration of this one into a file because they said initial pick up the initial value 0 0.40 when you solve this you get an answer of 4.6 into 10 raised to the power of minus 4 second inverse this is your sum this is how you are going to do careful when such questions are given you try to draw one two this is a question for three marks you are going to solve it showing graphically both the data go step by step one after the other numerical and write please mention the units also